presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you, with your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. <laughs> Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us here. No. Now, Tom O'Brien. Well, welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are, and what fits with you well. There are millions of men and women. Some of them will make a good match for you and others won't. The two of you only need to be like a key and a lock, a match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 764, NASDAQ's off 4. 67 S and P's off a buck 30. Gold, gold contract trading down 44 dollars. I mean, uh, 50 dollars at 18.25 an ounce. Silver down 77 cents at 21 dollars and 16 cents. Platinum's off 44 at 9.26. Light sweet crude, flat, pretty amazing. It's the only thing that's flat in the whole market. Uh, 120 dollars 64 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. This is some heavy uh, note and bond action, folks. You get the 10-year right now trading down one point plus 19 ticks. The 30-year is trading down three points at 132.14. And King Dollar, King Dollar is up almost a full penny. It's up 927 ticks, trading out at 105.06. The euro out here is at 104, the yen is at 134, and the British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, the bottom line is that we have broke price, that's for sure. The S&P... It's going to be close whether it's going to be a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. Because what you have here, SPY, is that thus far we have volume of 100 million. Oh, that was quick. One second. And we need 131. Yeah, we could get 30 million, man. The bottom line is that the B point on this is 380. We're at 376. So it's broken it well. Now, the NDX, my take, the NDX, we're going to have a confirmed one. I mean, you, you'll get the volume inside the NDX. The NDX right now, the three Qs, right now, 67 million. We need uh, 91. This will blow this away, man, in a big way. And, folks, this is, let me go back to the S&P because I go back to the S&P. This is serious business, man. When you go take a look at this S&P, you're at 3,700. When I bring this up, this ABC structure down, okay? I'll do the S&P, but this ABC structure down brings you, well, actually, I'll, I'll, do the, I'll do the exact number. I had the exact number. I don't, think, I don't know, it's 3,150. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a nasty number. That's the bottom line. It is a very nasty number. We're going to take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract gave up everything that had... Done on Friday. This is, and it was so wild actually on Friday. Uh, bottom line, you know, the equities went higher with volume, all of the above. Bottom line is that what we just did here is that you did, you know, give it up. We went from a price point of 1882 down to 1823, and you're laying right there at 1824 right now. If we go over to the dollar, now this is the scary chart, meaning the market is showing that it can't, the dollar, you know, the market can't stand a strong dollar right now. 
Um, you know, the bottom line is that this ABC structure on the way down has been in place, meaning in the market. Okay, it broke it today. And, you know, <laughs> oh, man, it's, it's always a trip. But you better calculate. Well, I'll get these numbers for you to calculate. And then you've got to figure out what you want to do here. Um, so the dollar. Now, watch this, folks, okay, because this dollar could be, and if this is ever, you know, first off, it could be an ABC structure up, okay? Um, right now, you're over, it's 103.820, and you're over by, you know, a point and a half right now. Um, now, the last high that was generated last week is, is just right where we are, but this is, the, this is the part that could be really problematic for markets. We put this back, what you're gonna see, if this dollar is going to run to 120, and it very well could be, the highs that were generated out here in 2001 were 121. When you run to 121, man, you're going to see a lot more destruction. Uh, if we go take a look at the indice volume right now, the indice volume has been picking up in a big way. You got the NYSE right now at 731. So if we go back to May 20th, for, for an ABC structure down, you need 1.2 billion. The composite, okay, has the volume. The composite right now, you're already at 4.4 billion, okay? We need uh, 20th. We need 5.4. The composite and ABC structure down, man. I mean, and it's a monster. It is a monster. It's going to be one, like one of these deals, you know, that the bottom line is that like the rest of these equities that are back to May, I mean, February of 2020, you're going to see the indices back to February 2020. And that's going to, and you got to remember something. An ABC structure down, we're on the C to D, that's a straight line move. You got Apple down four and a half dollars, Amazon's up five and a half, Advanced Micro seven and a half. You got uh, Nvidia down 12 bucks, you got Microsoft, uh, Microsoft down 10. Uh, Tesla, T E, well, T S L A. Tesla, this one here, he came out with a warning today uh, to his workers that uh, be prepared for a a tough quarter. Now, Tesla got 500 laid out, laid out on it. Right now, we're at six something. Um, where is it? Right there. What is that? Yeah, 502. I suspect Tesla's going to go after 502. It breaks 502. Guess what, man? Tesla's going to be down into this uh, 193, which is just a total mind blow. I know. But guess what? Uh, the destruction that's out here is fast, is furious, is all of the above. And um, uh, there's still, you know, really not a, not a uh, this, this was the building cause. And, you know, uh, understanding what cause can do, folks, uh, on the way up or the way down is really important. And that's what this whole bounce was about. We did less than a 0 0.382, you know, or just a 382, blows it away. And I suspect what we're going to see here, we're right into the close. This is not going to stop, man. This is not going to stop. But this is a basic setup because the bulls and bears fought the first 40 minutes, gave it up. Once you give it up on price, the volume starts accelerating. You're at 214, 314, you know, of, of a break. You're going south, man. And the volume will accelerate. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down uh, 787. You get the NASDAQ off 480. S&Ps are off 135. Let's get over. I'm Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also, great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. You come over to our website at TFNN. Hit newsletters. You're going to see Mastering Probability right on the right-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You get Master and Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So you can check it out. Steve's got a lot of archives on there. really gets to understand how he looks at the market each and every day. So check it out right here, right now. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, I'm hoping that uh, uh, that we're going to see something we haven't seen for 39 years, and that's a three-peat uh, with regard to the uh, with regard to the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning out there. So the last time that there were three straight Stanley Cup wins out there actually came from a team that probably nobody I I know I would not have been able to guess this, but it was the New York Islanders. Islanders, There's yeah. The only reason you know, I knew it is that they said it the other night when I was watching when you were watching the same ah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Perfect, perfect, yeah, perfect. Right. So the other two times have been Canadian teams. Yeah. Twice by the uh, by the Maple Leafs and twice by the Montreal Canadiens. So yeah. let's see. You know, we'll see. We'll see if they can do it. Uh, they they. You, 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 know, you know, it's wild. So check this out. So the 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 coach at that time was John Cunniff. John Cunniff yeah. is, from, is from South Boston. Every day, listen to this, man. This is so sick. They lived down the street from me. Him and Teddy. Okay. I would go down there, and that's where the Greyhound bus was, so it was all cement, and we would shoot pucks every single day. He's about that's he's great. about 10 that's years great. older than me, at least. He played yeah. from B.C., but isn't that crazy? That's the, no, that, it's yeah, great. I know. That's great. So hey, it's got to be pretty, so, pretty, pretty heavy, you know, a lot of excitement in Tampa. It's got to be. Oh, big time. Dude, can you yeah. believe, folks, if you saw this game, right, Steven Stamkos, man, Especially the shot. He was so far away, man. That's, that's when, I mean, if you saw the shot, folks, he was so far. The goal, he wasn't ready for it, man, because it's like he, he was yeah. 10 feet away from the blue line. He just fired it, and it was awesome, man. I know. Yeah, but it's still coming at 95 miles an hour. It so. is. It <laughs> is, man. <laughs> you know, so. Uh, it is. But, uh, hey, so, you know, I thought what we market, do here. Yeah. Yeah, let's go in the, in the market. So we began 2022 uh, taking a look at all of the TD9 count topping signals that were present in the uh, markets. Yep, and, I remember uh, this well, man. 
Yeah, and, and and so folks, and it's it's one of the tools that I teach. So if you don't know the pattern, you really should learn it. You can sign up for Mastering Probabilities. You can do it for 29 days. It doesn't cost you anything. Yeah. But if you're a technical trader, you really want to understand this pattern out here. Gave us a, a big warning sign. And now what we have is, at least right now, as of 321 in the afternoon, we've got the NDX, the Russell 2000, the semis, and the NASDAQ composite all trading below last year's lows, which is a real bearish signal out there. So what I thought that we could do. You know what we got to do, like Steve? I don't mean to interrupt you. I'm going to find yeah. that clip that when I was interviewing you, because I remember that so well, because I says, yeah, because, yeah, we're going to find that clip. I'll find it this week, sure. for sure. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Because, because there was nobody thinking that that was even a possibility. No, right? totally. Right? So it's, totally. It's just, I mean, everybody was celebrating. Right. Because you had put was, together that and exactly what you just said. Now, if it breaks this, this is going to be a monster problem. Right. Yeah. Exa yeah. Exactly. And so, and now, more likely than not, you know, just we're looking at big picture here. So more likely than not, we don't see a major bottom come in until 2023. And how I get to that is this is a monthly chart. It's easier just to show this on a monthly chart. Yeah. But this is a monthly chart of a bull market. This is uh, going back. This is the Dow. And this is taking us back into the March 2009. What we see here, with the exception of one time, since that time period of March of 2009, every correction has been two to three bars. And that's what's really labeled on the screen where the arrows are at. There was one period of time, that was back in the 2015, or 2010, 11 flash crash, I believe, that we, we saw five uh, monthly bars to the downside. So this is typically what we would see out here. I still believe we're in a longer term, much longer term bull market. And if that's the case, then we should see basically a two bar reversal. That would suggest that we would see some kind of bottom take place in, in 2023. But we'll, we'll, we'll get there. When we get there, we'll, we'll hopefully we'll know it or we'll at least be able to see it from a technical standpoint. So yes. this, this is what sets us up into, and I'm not saying we're not going to have bounces and significant bounces along the way. We very likely will, but really expecting the next major bottom to come in in 2023. So let's spend a little time, and you had started doing this as we were coming in to the segment, taking a look at price targets to the downside. Now, you were using A to B equals CD projection, so that's one tool that we have. Another tool that we have, in just sticking with the TD9 count pattern, is that the TD9 count pattern helps us to identify an objective level where price is broken out from. And when you break through a breakout area, it says you go to the next breakout level. Well, in the case of the, and these are all monthly time frames. So on a bigger picture here, the Dow's larger picture says maybe 24,843. And so when we think about possibly going out into 2023 before there's a major bottom, that's a real price target. The S&P, its next price target on the way down is 37.23. If in <laughs> June we see a close below that level, that's then going to signal a move to the 29.65 area. So each of these red horizontal lines on this chart represent the uh, breakout levels where price would move to. But if we take a look at the NDX 100, it's trading below that level already. That, that should have really been the buy, the dip area. So this is really telling us of significant problems that we've got inside the market. And technically, talking about getting down to the 74.23 level. The semis, which are also trading below their monthly breakout area, suggest 16.25 could be a target. And the NASDAQ composite, 85.37. Now, the cool thing is that we go from larger time frames like monthly, we can go take a look at the weekly. The weeklies also have breakout levels. So before those monthly areas come into play, Tom, we need to see some of these weekly levels break and uh, and most people uh, they can uh, come back watch the archive if they're just listening in they'll see these levels on on tiger tv the dow the area that we're looking at is 30,000 a 14 as its next weekly level. If we see a close below that, that's going to signal lower price. The S&P, the area to watch, is 32.79. Now these are weekly time frames. Uh, the NDX 100 is 10.957. The Russell's at 15.540 out there. And I've got the others, the semis, the trainings, and so forth, down on the bottom. Now, from a short term, so that's the bigger picture, folks. What I also like to do is give you kind of a short term picture. So, like, what's happening today? And the shorter term message of the market says that we should expect and anticipate a bounce to form, perhaps over the perhaps just within the next 24 hours, but certainly over the next couple of days. And Tom, how we achieve that uh, uh, um, conclusion is because the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline oscillator. That's the difference between the 19 and 39 period exponential moving average of the advanced decline line. It has already attained the significant 
oversold level, which is down at minus 250. It's the second panel that's in my chart out here. And folks, I take you back to the 2007, 2009 bear market. We had many instances of these. If you take a look at the green arrows out there, every time the market gets or this, this oscillator gets down into the minus 250 area, doesn't happen necessarily that day. Sometimes it does, but usually sometimes it can take a couple days, Tom. It happened back then. It's going to happen now, too, in these bear markets. So we should expect and anticipate a bounce. What I would tell folks to watch overnight is the two-hour time frame charts for the equity futures. I've got something called an oscillator and change line. If price closes above that, that tells us that we've got a rally that's underway out there. So that's what I see, longer picture and shorter term. you got to love it, man. I don't find that archive, man, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that'd be great. Because yeah, that, be that, we were at big highs then, man. That was that oh. was a turn. We were still at highs, man. And, but, and that's the cool thing about the pattern. Right? It is. So it's just it's, it it's is. a nice it's a nice pattern, and everybody should yep. should know about it and use it. Come right over, folks. Go in the newsletters. You'll see it on the right hand side. Maximum probability. Hit that button. Steve, have a Take great care, one. Tom. Safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow. Thanks. If you want to Thanks. take advantage there, of this sector, right now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's down to 887. You get the NASDAQ off 524. S&Ps are off uh, 148. So let's go take a look at these. I have these ABCs for you, folks, okay? So we take a look at the SPY first, right? Bottom line, uh, and the SPY, by the way, all the indices are going to have the volume. These are confirmed ABC structures down. Uh, the SPY needs 131. We're already at 110. When I started the program, uh, which was uh, 31 minutes ago, folks, we were only at 90. So we did 30 million shares in 26 minutes. You know, bottom line, here's, here's the setup. And this is sad but true. Here's your A to B. The A to B and the SPY, folks, okay, is uh, an 81 53, 81 points, 81 dollars, 53 cents. 
That sets up an ABC structure down to uh, 335.91. Now we pull this up, that right there. Yeah, so bottom line, well, you know where we're going, folks. We, 313 is the highs of the lows. That's my take, that's where we're going. 335 is the A to B equals C to D. 313 is the high of the low of March. So bottom line, pretty intense. We go look at the NDX 100. What do you have with the NDX? Same type of setup in the NDX. The NDX is going to have the volume before the next uh, break. Right now, what you have, you have 75 million, you need 91. The B point was 280, we're at 275. This baby is set up. This is a, this is a disaster. That's the bottom. They're, they're, this is a fast move down, there's no doubt. I've seen fast moves down. And remember, ABC structures, A to B is a straight line move, C to D is a straight line move. So you get your A point, that's set up at that 366 uh, level. This is a, a 91.62 A to B. So you're, this gives us a price projection of 222, or 275, and let's just see where 222 is. Is that right down there? Oh my God, yeah, two, listen to this. Oh, 219 is the high of the low. So, uh, I hate to be the bear, bear of that bad news. That's the bottom line, but I'm telling you, man. And that's only a one-to-one -one ABC structure on the way down. Um, you know, when you get markets like this, you'll probably go more than a one-to-one. -one. Because what happens is that there has to be a total flush down in the system. Uh, what could happen here, now check this out. This is pretty cool, like coming in this week, is that we have option expiration on Friday. What happens is that in January and in June, those are the largest option expirations every year. And I, I think it has to do something with uh, the bigger funds, how they do it. You know, it's a six month deal. So there's gonna be some monster action here. Now, if we happen to go down today and down tomorrow, um, you know, and then go sideways a little, you know, if you're, you know, looking for a bounce, I wouldn't be looking for a bounce, but the bottom line, I know a lot of people like bounces and they want to play them because I wouldn't play a bounce. That's my point more than anything. But if you're looking for a bounce, the day to look for the bounce would be on option expiration because what would end up happening is that that option expiration is when you can get turns. And in this particular case, because of the coming into a three day weekend, that I think there's gonna be enough thought process going on that people can say, oh, this is gonna be the end of the world, okay? Well, there's no such thing as the end of the world, okay? That's the, that's the real bottom line. There's price and volume, and there's buyers and sellers. And in this particular case right now, we have more sellers than we have buyers. It's going down fast and furious. And you know, when we say going down, you know, we're talking about everything. Uh, if you go take a look at uh, Bitcoin, this is like, uh, <laughs> a pretty intense deal. I mean, Bitcoin looks to me, the next stop on Bitcoin, so picture this, it broke It broke the lows today, okay? Bitcoin's trading at 23,000. Well, if you look at Bitcoin, the next stop on Bitcoin is 13,000. This is, I mean, it, we don't have volume on Bitcoin, but you can see just, just technically looking up, it's already into the bar. The, well, the, this bar here, the top of the bar is 29,000, the bottom 17. So 17.5 is coming at us. Break 17.5, you're at 13,200. You know, I mean, this this some um, heavy selling that's going on out here. Uh, in Bitcoin's case, you have another coin that, uh, bottom line, they're not allowing people to take out of their <laughs> platform. <laughs> this, to me, I mean, I hope that folks kind of figure it out that, hey, man, this is one of the biggest scams out there. Um, and, you know, if they don't, it's sad because, um, you know, there's going to be a huge amount of money that's lost, and it's lost, you know, very quickly. That, that's the bottom line. We go look at the Dow Industrials. The thing that's intriguing about the Dow, too, by the way, you know, we're, we're looking that the, the NQs and the, you know, S&P want to go down to the pre-market, uh, pre-COVID. Well, the Dow is really just getting there. I mean, pre 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 COVID, the Dow Industrials right now is only a thousand points away, and we're down 907 points. So, you know, it's not a stretch 
You know, I mean, it looks like a stretch right now when you do these ABC structure numbers down, but it's not a stretch. I've been doing these long enough that, you know, if you have ABC structures, your probability is, not, you know, nothing is, you know, it's not like, it's not like 90% or even 85, okay? It's probably around 70, somewhere like that, that, that these come in, but they're very consistent. That's, that's the bottom line, so you gotta watch it. That's, that's what it comes down to. You gotta watch it, you gotta watch it in spades. We go over and we take a look at, uh, let's go take a look at uh, NVIDIA. Okay, so you got NVIDIA, that's gonna go after its lows. That low there is gonna be 155.67. You hit 156, you need 70 million. It's not gonna do it today, and this is what's actually dangerous. It's, gonna, it's going after its low today. It's gonna, not gonna make it, but you are gonna have an expansion of volume, so that's gonna be dangerous. Uh, let's go see what Amazon's up to, the big dog out here. We take a look at Amazon. Okay, so Amazon will fit 101.86. 101.26 is the number. Yeah, this isn't good either. So here, watch this one. This is, you want to pay attention to this. The swing low on Amazon is 101.26. We hit 101.86. The volume there is 102 million. We're at 78 million. That's going to be dangerous because if we close right here, that would tell me we're going to open up tomorrow morning and we're going to go right after that low. If, and if Amazon's going to do an ABC down, um, <laughs> let me tell you something. Uh, let's go to Microsoft because Microsoft's getting hit by 10 points. Microsoft out here. Oh, look at this. 39 million, no, Microsoft won't do it. It's not gonna do the volume. It needs, it needs 10 million for the half hour. It's not gonna do that. It was shot 10 million. That being said, let's bring this up and just see exactly where we're set up right here. Okay, so you're closing out. Yeah, Microsoft's on its way at 232. Now Microsoft has some, has some you know, Bottom line, some support at that 232, but Microsoft also looks like it wants to go to 175. What you want to do with these ABC structures, right? Look at the ABC structure, try to start figuring out what you may want to buy down there because no one's going to want to buy. If we do an ABC structure down there, that's when you're not going to want to buy, but that's when you should be looking to buy. Stay right there, folks, and we'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50.
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off uh, 950. Nasdaq's off 3, 532. S&Ps are off 157. This uh, baby's just accelerating, folks. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom. Nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like uh, instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I you appreciate again. your growling problem with us. And if you haven't tried this, folks, okay, what's so cool about this room is that, you know, we have a beautiful community. It's a real community. Everyone's participating. And you can get it on your phone. It's so, it's just everywhere. Yeah, that's awesome. I know, man. It's crazy. And <laughs> Tom, you're your 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 channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. So Tesla, right? I'd like to have you take take a look at Tesla. Okay. See what you think the areas of support are, and um, the next one is at five oh three. The next the next area Pardon? is five oh three. Okay. That's where. And if it breaks the 503, it's going to be big problems, man. Uh, you know, the, the, well, the f how about the, the, the 600, the re, uh, low, close to 600, a recent low? Is that any, any uh, resistance there or support? No, there is support there. Yes, there is. There is. Yeah. Okay. And see, where you're getting okay. that from is this. This is where we traded sideways for like seven months, and the bottom of that was the 667, and the high of that was the 880, Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, the first time this came down, this came down with volume there. That's, I have this on a monthly right now, right? Um, okay. That being said, um, you know, it looks like it's going to go after it. Now, if it went after it right now, this month, it looks like it would have lighter volume, you know? So where I'm going okay. with the 503 here, um, Mike, is that you see the, I get the bar coming across it right now. That's uh, September of 2020. Yes. You see that high yes. volume, so it's like, okay, you know, they like going to these high volume bars, so, you know. And, and, and Musk, it's surprising it's not down more today, actually, because Musk came out this morning and told his own employees, um, you know, that, uh, you know, that it's going to be, Musk encourages Tesla staff uh, while warning it's going to be a tough quarter. So if he's warning wow. it's going to be a tough quarter, you know, that's... That says quite a bit. Yeah, man. I did. I didn't catch that. That's, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Really, uh, thank you, Tom. I appreciate you taking your time and uh, sure. nice talking again. Where about in Southern California do you live? I, I used to be from Michigan, yeah. and I moved out here. I'm I'm in Orange County now. I love it. Yeah, that's a beautiful yeah. place, man. Yeah, I love that place out yeah, there. Yeah, but it's 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 the real estate out here, Tom. You would you would pull your hair out. Oh, no, listen, I know. I know Laguna Beach upside down. I know every door in Laguna Beach. I used to sleep, when I was in the Marines, I used to sleep at Laguna Beach. I slept at Laguna Beach every night for eight months. It was so cool. It was insane. I was 18. Were you out at uh, El Toro Marine Base? Yeah, I was, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I miss that place. I ride my bike around there all yeah. the time. It's called the Great Park now. It's a development area, and yeah. it's so beautiful. The barracks for the Marines are still there. I love it. Yeah. 
The it's really well, cool. Well, you Thank know, you, it's so Tom. crazy. So what happens, folks, is that, you know, you can leave base, but you just got to be back in the morning. And there's plenty of Marines that used to sleep on the beach every night, man. I mean, because you imagine, you get young kids, you're 18, 19, right? And you're in Southern California. It's like, I thought that was yeah, a different, sunset. I was like, you got to be that kidding me. Like, that is this, wonderful out there, seriously, My man. wife just loves it. She's, she works at Costco down in San Juan Capistrano, yep. right on the beach. Oh, that's beautiful. Said, there. I know. Let's go to watch the sunset. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I know. Okay, man. Yeah. Have a great, great one. Have Thank a safe you, one. Thank you. Let's go to our man, Frank and Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, hey how are you? It's Tommy. Doing pretty good up here. Thank you. Good, man. Good. So, the I, GLD. Uh, I, I dumped uh, four or five short positions today. Okay. Uh, most of them most of them in the indices. Yeah. Uh, great profits. Nice. Uh, I, like, I like to follow a McClellan oscillator. Yes, I saw uh, that in the den, how you do that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it works for me. And, you know, for sure it's coming to a hard bottom here today. Doesn't mean it can't bottom out for a while, but you usually get a bounce back up to the top. So I wonder if you do get a bounce here, it obviously has to be a great short. I would say that the the, the way the market is trading, and I, I keep going back to J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan, folks, okay, you know, the biggest bank in the world, the bottom line is that this is deep into, you know, COVID, never prime pre-COVID, you know, and that yep, tells yep. me quite a bit, man. I mean, you know, you got, we put this up here. You're going to take a look at this, you know, the top of COVID for JP Morgan was $122 and we're at 115. So that's a problem, yep. man. You know what I mean? I just, that's like, okay, if they're not, if they're trading at 115, <laughs> that's telling me, and this is, you know, this is an equity that's paying a 3.4% dividend. That's telling me we're coming yeah. lower, man. You know what I mean? We'll get, we're going to get yeah. bounces, no doubt about that. But, you know, I don't, this week, I really don't see a bounce. You know, you might, I, you just heard me in that option expiration. That would be the time yeah. that yeah. you could really, really get something going, you know? It, yeah. You know. Okay. Hey, take a look at GLD real quick. Yes. So uh, I see it stop today right at the top of the previous low. Yeah, it's for for what's happening in the marketplace. It's still actually blowing my mind that gold can even hold on. You know, it's down fifty bucks, but the bottom line is that it's holding on. And we take a look at the the weekly. Um, you know, I think you know this is solid, man. I mean, you're down 440, but, you know, you get that swing yeah, low at 168. Yeah. It, it can touch it, but this is still solid. I mean, it, it's, 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 it's absolutely wild, folks, that we have a market like this, and the golds aren't getting killed even more because it just, you know, yeah. I mean, we had, you yeah. know, the, the individual ones, that was quite a, probably a head fake on Friday. You know what I mean? It's it's close call, man, whether it is or not. But I, yeah. I like the deal, okay. man. You know, inflation, you can't turn the key off in inflation overnight. And, you no, know, that's for sure. you know, if <laughs> on Friday it looked to me like, you know what, that's what the market was showing when, you know, what happened in the gold market on Friday, folks, someone came in big on every single stock almost, except for the large ones. You know what's interesting, Frank? They didn't come in on New um, uh, uh, Newmont. They didn't come in on uh, Rangold. I mean, not Rangold, the Barrick. But all those small gold yeah. stocks, man, they came in on spades. So Yeah, that's kind of strange. They must yeah. see something with those juniors. Yeah, I'm with you. I know. I know. Cooking, brother. Thank you. Okay, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's go to our man Jim in Palm Harbor. Hey, Jim, how you been? I'm doing great, Tom. I'm uh, heavily loaded in TBT, and, and uh, I can't find a 20-year index that, that it's based on, so I keep looking up the, the TNX for the 10-year and the 30-year uh, yield. And I'm just trying to figure out a target where that 10-year might go, either well, by going off the it's been, I mean, or, you, you um, get an ABC structure up now in the TBT. Very much. Okay. Yeah. I'll just do it that way. You, you, you break, uh, you're breaking the, the swing point. You're breaking it with volume. Uh, and it's a, it's a huge one, man. I mean, this thing could be, let me see, 27, 17, approximately 9. That's 33. A to B equals C to D. So. Yeah, and I've got self I've got a self employed uh, or self employed IRA, and so I've got long calls in the TBD. I want to ask you about Apple because I'm looking at that this chart back to the March of 20. Okay, also. just stay right there. We'll be coming right back. 
Dow Industrials right now down 986. You get the NASDAQ off 553. S&Ps are off 162. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off on 932. Nasdaq's off 539. S&Ps are off 154. Uh, inside the S&Ps, we're going to have the volume in all of them, folks. Uh, the SPY right now is uh, trading out at 127 million. We need 135, 131. That's going to do that in a heartbeat. Uh, NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX. I think that was 91 we needed. And 91 we need, we're at 84. They're, they're both going to do it. The, the composite in, uh, volume is huge. Uh, the actual composite, the composite volume already is uh, 5.2 billion. It only needs 5.4 to break the composite. So it's, it's a big number. We're talking with Jim from Palm Harbor, and we're talking about Apple. And what are we doing with Apple, Jim? Well, I, I'm looking. I, so I ran the fibs all the way back to the March of 20 when, when Apple was 53. Yeah. And then I looked at the 183 high, and I'm, look, I'm looking at, I mean, even a 618 takes you down to, to a 102.75. Yeah, no, I think so, Apple's going to 76 bucks. Okay. And that's the high of the low of COVID, of February, of March. Yeah. 
Yeah. Give me that number. Give me that number. I'm going to write it down. 76 flat. And if you're watching Tiger TV, see where I have the, the see, that's a high volume. That's the last time Apple even had volume, you know, on the way up, which is crazy. 76 bucks. And it's like, yep, wow, are you kidding me? That's a chart. The, the yep. thing that's crazy, folks, that, that sounds like a monster number. Well, guess what? Apple's already off its highs by $50. There's not a reason they can't go down another 50 so well, and, and it was crazy just looking at the quarterly earnings back then were three dollars a share four ninety nine a share two fifty five and now now they're they're printing a dollar twenty four and two dollars and a dollar fifty so that the share the earnings don't support the price we're at anyway so it's like almost confirming you're targeted there's that's a there's a readjustment of price earnings ratios that's that's what you have happening out here and when they adjust they're going to adjust totally down the other way. When you're when you're when you're coming out of a bear market, folks, your price to earnings ratio is about ten. We started this thing out at about twenty eight. Yeah. So. Wow. I just looked at the AD. One hundred fifty two up, thirty one ten down. There you go. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Thanks. Always Bye. remember, folks, the bank and call your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Nine o'clock kicks us off. Great show. Whee! Look at him, folks.